Hey guys, 46 man here. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use your old school DIN keyboard on one of those new computers that you might not like the keyboard and you might just want to use your nice awesome IBM keyboard it might be but most likely I'd highly recommend using Alps keyboard. They're really cheap if you find them second hand. But this keyboard here is just a disgusting mushy keyboard. It might sound good but it's just rubber cap sadly. It is a Honeywell keyboard manufactured in Thailand. So I'm going to get rid of this keyboard. And I'm going to grab this beautiful Osborne one. It's a bit dusty, but should do the job. Now this Osborne keyboard is manufactured in Australia here. And it also uses a DIN connector. So what you're going to do first, see how there's a little notch in the middle here? You're going to align it with the arrow, and it should go in, but ta-da! Now it's his PS2 keyboard. So now I'm going to get my PC and connect it into the back. This should be very simple with just one converter. And I'm going to go show it to you now. Now here is my desktop computer. It has a keyboard and mouse PS2 port. Two USB 3.0s and all the other ports here, but we're going to be focusing on these two, mainly the keyboard one though. So here's the keyboard plug which you would use for a PS2 keyboard, and here is a PS2 mouse. Now most of the motherboards will still come with a PS2 port, but it will be integrated with both keyboard and mouse, so you can only connect one of the two. Now I like to use a PS2 keyboard and a nice, P let me think, a nice USB keyboard. Right, USB mouse and mainly because my PS2 keyboard which is in storage right now because I've been moving everything has Alps keys and that's amazing and the keyboard I used to have was an absolute piece of shit from China which is what I was expecting when I bought it don't know why I did that but now I'm going to be showing you how to connect it in so let me just grab that Osborne keyboard here is that nice Osborne keyboard very nice clicky feel. See, it has Osborne right there. Oh, it's wrong, it's made in Taiwan, but better than Thailand. So, it's got the two feet still here, oh, amazingly. So, yeah, it's a nice keyboard. So, I'm going to put it down here for now. And here is a converter which I showed you earlier. And we're going to be plugging that into the port. Now, if you can see, let's wait for my camera to focus. Jeez. There is a black prong in there. And up here, there's a black square here. And you're going to have the flat side going right to plug in. Now, remember you do. If you're using a keyboard, plug it into the purple. But if yours are both white or beige it should just have a, a symbol of a keyboard or a mouse now this should work and with a ps2 keyboard it should it should allow you to turn on the computer with pressing the scroll lock button if you have it set up now this computer here runs windows 10 and it will still work with this computer so it doesn't matter what operating system you have it's just the converters you use so here it is working now and yes so if you want to use a um, let me think a Osborne or let's say DIN connector or PS2 key award onto a newer computer let's say a laptop don't know why or a newer integrated all-in-one desktop you will need a PS2 to USB converter which I sadly don't have but it looks similar to this. Make sure you don't get an adapter. Make sure you can get a converter because an adapter just adapts these pins into a USB and the converter will convert the signals from this into a USB, which works better. Now I paid about $2.50 for this converter. It took me a while to find, but it's on eBay. Just look around. And it does work. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And subscribe maybe if you want to. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks.